On Apple Valley News Now at 6, a new Washington law regarding cannabis use and drug testing. Stacey Lee is tracking conditions for the first week of 2024, which could include a change ahead. Get all the details in her first alert forecast. Plus, a loss for those with pets as an animal emergency room clinic in Yakima closes its doors. This is Apple Valley News Now at 6 on your side. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Jill Sperling. The pandemic didn't just cause burnout and workforce shortages for health care workers. With many people working from home, pet adoption exploded, leaving veterinarians facing record burnout and shortages. Apple Valley News Now, Apple Valley News Now's Emily Goodell tells us now that shortage is having local consequences. For years, Yakima Pet Emergency Service has been the only place in Yakima County where pet owners can turn when their pet is having an emergency either after hours or on the weekend. But now, as of yesterday, it's closed for good. The emergency clinic opened in 2005, providing coverage overnight on weekdays and 24-7 on the weekends. But over the years, they had to cut back on hours until they were only open Friday from 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. and Saturday through Monday from 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. and had to close unexpectedly several times last year when their vets called out sick. Last week, they announced on Facebook they were closing permanently due to staffing challenges. Veterinary clinics countywide are already stretched thin during regular business hours, but now pet owners won't have any other option but to travel out of county if their pet has an emergency overnight or on weekends. Right now, they're recommending people go to Mid-Columbia Pet Emergency Services in Pasco, the closest 24-7 animal hospital. The next closest options are Seattle veterinary specialists in Kirkland, pet Emergency Clinic and Referral Center in Spokane and Washington State University Teaching Hospital in Pullman. However, there are efforts underway to deal with the shortage long term at the federal level, like the Rural Veterinary Workforce Act reintroduced last year, which would offer up to $75,000 in student loan repayment for veterinarians who commit to working in rural areas for three years. That bill is currently in committee. In the meantime, if you need to take your pet to one of those 24-7 animal hospitals, make sure to call ahead and check on their wait times to figure out which of those locations will get your pet the care they need the quickest. Reporting from the Yakima Newsroom, Emily Goodell, Apple Valley News Now. A follow-up tonight, one of the drivers involved in a two-vehicle collision in Kennewick in December has died. The Washington State Patrol identified the driver as 82-year-old Suzanne Kimberlin, she was headed southbound on State Route 395, turning left onto Kennewick Avenue when her vehicle and another vehicle collided in the intersection on December 14th. Now, according to the Washington State Patrol, she died on December 23rd. According to state troopers, the car she drove failed to yield the right of way to the other vehicle involved in the crash. A person suspected of murder was arrested in Walla Walla last night following a short police chase. According to the College Place Police Department, an officer tried to stop a speeding vehicle in the 800 block of Northeast Rose Street in College Place just before midnight. When the driver failed to stop, police say the officer pursued the vehicle. The Walla Walla Police Department, Walla Walla County Sheriff's Office and Washington State Patrol troopers also responded. Uh, police say the vehicle eventually came to a stop in the area of Kenneth Street and South 4th Street in Walla Walla. They say he then ran from the area but was caught in a nearby alley. The suspect, 31-year-old Andres Solis of Walla Walla, was arrested on suspicion of DUI, attempting to elude reckless driving, obstruction, and possession of a controlled substance. Authorities say Solis also had several warrants for his arrest, including one for a murder charge. Now to the weather and the first evening of the new year. Stacy Lee is tracking your first alert weather forecast. And thanks, Jill. Happy New Year, everyone. Hopefully you're having a great day. Got a lot of football in uh, today and over the weekend. We do have freezing fog and low visibility once again due to this dense fog advisory all along the foothills of the blues will expire tomorrow. We'll continue to see the foggy conditions through the morning hours into the Tri-Cities, and it should start to break apart a little bit later in the day, although it will still be cloudy with temperatures in the 30s and low 40s. We'll see the cloudy uh, skies and fog in the Yakima area and then check it out. We'll 
start to see some showers. We could even see a little rain mix with snow uh, depending on the temperature when that begins uh, tomorrow. Let's plan your day tomorrow. Look for those foggy conditions through half the day for the Walla Walla area looking better and overcast with cloudy skies. Mixed precip due for the Yakima Valley. So look for that patchy fog and freezing fog tonight. There's little patches of black ice on the roadways. Be safe out there. Scattered showers tomorrow. Light mountain snow also tomorrow into Wednesday and we have more unsettled weather coming towards the weekend. I'll get to all those details in your first alert full weather forecast. Jill. Thank you, Stacy. Well, the start of a new year almost always means new laws taking effect. We've been talking about some of the new laws here in Washington and Alyssa, one of those has to do with getting a job. Yeah, absolutely. So as of today, you cannot require a marijuana test before hiring someone in the state of Washington in most industries. This has been a bit of a problem since recreational marijuana is legal for people over 21 in Washington. A lot of tests, though, can only show if you have used it sometime in the past, not necessarily when or how much. So advocates wanted to make it so that using a legally allowed substance in the past doesn't stop you from getting a job in the present. Now, once you're hired, if your employer wants to have a drug free workplace, they are allowed to do that. You can still be banned from using marijuana at work and your employer can also require you to get tested if there's an accident or if they suspect that you are under the influence on the clock. Now again, as of today, most employers no longer allowed to require a pre-hiring marijuana test, but there are a few exemptions. So if you're applying for a job that requires a federal background investigation or security clearance, you may still have to get tested. The same goes for law enforcement, firefighters, first responders, including dispatchers, corrections officers, aviation or aerospace industry workers, and what they call safety sensitive positions, something any job where being impaired while you're at work could be deadly. Now, this is a brand new law, Jill, as you mentioned, but state lawmakers are already considering a possible change. So I'm going to talk about what they're looking at coming up tonight at 630. All right. Thank you so much, Alyssa. The Yakima City Council's first meeting of the new year is coming up and the focus is on the future. One item on the agenda, funding for the Aquatic Center at Martin Luther King Jr. Park, a years long effort to bring a pool back to East Yakima. The council already authorized $719,000 for operation and maintenance in the 2023 to 2024 budget. But they're considering an ordinance to create a special fund that would make sure all revenue from the Aquatic Center will stay there. And it'll be a new council making that decision with Assistant Mayor Sonia Lund and Council Members Eliana Macias and Holly Cousins leaving office. As I leave this position, I am confident in the capable hands that will continue to guide our city forward. Change is inevitable. New voices and ideas bring fresh perspectives to the challenges that lie ahead. Newly elected council members Leo Roy, Rick Glenn and Reedy Berg will take the oath of office and vote on a new mayor and assistant mayor at the meeting, which will be at 530 tomorrow night. Manufacturers are voluntarily recalling more than 675,000 cans of powdered baby formula for possible bacteria. On Sunday, the FDA warned of possible bacterial contamination in Reckitt Mead Johnson's Newt Neutromigen uh, hypoallergenic powdered infant formula products. While there have been no illnesses reported, the formula did test positive for chronobacter bacteria, which can cause a rare and potentially deadly infection in newborns. With the start of the new year comes a guarantee of affordable insulin for Americans with diabetes. Starting today, prices of Sanofi's Lantus are capped at 35 bucks per month for many patients. That's the most prescribed insulin in the country. Last year, the country's two other major insulin producers, Novo Nordisk and Eli Lilly, dropped their insulin prices. Approximately eight and a half million Americans rely on insulin. As many as a quarter of patients have not been able to afford their medicine. Talk about a great way to start the new year. You could have a one in 292 million chance of winning $810 million in the lottery. Nobody won on Saturday, and in fact, nobody has won the Powerball jackpot since October when a player in California won more than a billion dollars. If someone wins tonight, the cash option would be about uh, $408 million before taxes. Tonight's drawing takes place at 8. 
He thought he was flying to see relatives, but a teenager traveling alone soon found himself very far from home. Details on what happened coming up. And we could see some changes in local conditions this week. Stacy Lee has all the developments in her first alert forecast. But first, a heroic hound. An alert northwest pup sees danger and sounds the alarm. Her story next on Apple Valley News Now at 6. 2024 is the year of the dragon and Legends Casino Hotel has a fire breather that can warm your wallet with cold hard cash during our $120,000 fire and ice fortunes. Don't be left out in the cold. Ignite your luck by using your Legends Rewards card to earn entries and ride the dragon of fortunes to claim three, eight, and $10,000 every Thursday in January. But don't let us drag on about it. Come in and win the $120,000 fire and ice fortunes only at Legends Casino Hotel. George and Heidi use Verizon. Dan and Tina have Spectrum Mobile. With Verizon, George and Heidi pay way more for their two unlimited lines. With Spectrum, Dan and Tina get one unlimited mobile line for $29.99 and their second line free. And with Spectrum, there are no added taxes or hidden fees. Dan and Tina save big, over $1,500 in savings. So George and Heidi, what do you think? We're switching to Spectrum. Get one unlimited line for $29.99 and get your next line free. Call, click, or visit a Spectrum store today. At U.S. Cellular, anyone can get any phone free. So give yourself a free phone from U.S. Cellular. She's here! Then, give yourself the gift of not checking it. The gift of connection at U.S. Cellular. New and current customers get any phone free. Ring in the new year with style at More Furniture's New Year's Sale this Monday. We're celebrating all day long with incredible values on furniture and mattresses in time for the new year. Your home deserves a fresh start for 2024, and we've got everything you need during the New Year's Sale at More Furniture. Visit your local showroom with special hours this Monday from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Furniture legs can scar your floors, costing you a lot of cash. Now there's Ruby Sliders, the new chair leg covers that protect your floors, prevent scratching, and slide with ease without all the noise. They fit snugly on both size legs and glide across any floor. Now you can move even your largest furniture with no effort at all. Regular felt gets worn and easily falls off. But Ruby Sliders feature an ultra-tight nano-weave material attached with an industrial-strength adhesive to the cover, so they're built to last. Plus, they're Ultra flexible and conform to most sizes. They'll protect any kind of floor from hardwood, laminate, ceramic tile, and more. Call or go online now to get Ruby sliders for as low as 99 cents with free shipping. That's right, free shipping. This offer is not available on Amazon, so order now. Call 1 800 7010426 or visit rubysliders.com. So call 1 800 7010426 now. Boom, 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 hey. Come along as we travel to Priest Lake, Idaho, and meet some folks having fun with sled dogs. Let's go, let's go. It's a one-of-a-kind Fly the Northwest adventure you'll never forget. We also do some racing. Fly the Northwest, Apple Valley News Now at 6, Tuesday. Operation Best Friend on Good Morning Northwest, sponsored by Wendemere Group One. Welcome back. A Pacific Northwest dog owner says his beloved pet likely helped save his neighbor's lives. A fire broke out early Friday morning at a property in Arlington, about an hour's drive north of Seattle. As my Maddie White explains, the dog sensed something was wrong when she looked out a window and quickly alerted her owner. What's out there? What's that? It was the middle of the night when the barking began. Who's out there? <laughs> Normally, I just tell her, I just yell at her to go to sleep, you know. We were both in bed sleeping because it's 3 o'clock in the morning. But this type of bark was unlike one he'd heard before. Loud screaming type bark. It was totally different than her just barking at an usual, you know, a usual bark. It was totally woke us both up. Something's wrong. Wow. She's trying to tell us something. Lucy, an Australian Shepherd Labrador mix. She was in the bay window just continuing barking. Was among the first to notice a fire at the home across the street. And I woke my wife up. Then she opened the curtains and she, you know, said, honey, there's a fire in Doug. The flame went out of control. I mean, and then it was just, you know, a blaze on the whole side of the building was on fire. See that ball? 
Go get it. Lucy's owners called for help, <laughs> and firefighters arrived to extinguish the flames. I'm just glad that nobody was hurt. Thankfully, the fire only impacted the homeowner's workshop. The fire department said another 10 minutes that could have reached the house, so that was a little scary. Officers praised Lucy's quick actions on social media. <laughs> it's clear Lucy was a big hit with the first responders. And I think the fire department and the police officers just fell in love with her. And her owner couldn't be more proud. She's just a good dog. She's really one of a kind. I love her to death. Maddie White reporting is still no word on what caused the fire. From Apple Valley News Now, first alert weather with Stacy Lee. All right, let's take a look on our New Year's Day Tower Cam, Legends Casino, Columbia Point in Richland. Now there is high, uh, low clouds and fog, not as thick this evening in the Columbia Basin, but we are seeing thick fog elsewhere around the area. 39 degrees, the winds are light at 7, our feels like temp is 34. Dense fog advisory, though, in play all along the foothills of the Blues and in northeastern Oregon, all the way down into the Dalles area. Hermiston just sitting outside of that advisory, but yes, foggy conditions with sleep. Slick roads possible out there tonight with a little bit of black ice possible. Now this ridge of high pressure, that guy starts moving out of the area and in comes our next wave. Our next system will start moving across the Cascades. It's going to bring light snow to the mountains, some mixed precip possible on the east side. Think Yakima Ellensburg area, maybe even into Sunnyside. Let's time that system out. Here comes those cloudy skies tomorrow morning. Again, overcast Columbia Basin. Here comes the first band of showers and snow showers on the east slopes and across the Cascades. Now, here's what happens. We get close to Yakima and we start to see that snow right around the area. So we could see a wintry mix there tomorrow on and off throughout the day with those showers coming down the uh, lower valley of the Yakima area and into the Kittitas. Overnight, Tuesday into Wednesday morning, look for showers through the region. Again, more snow could see a little mix precip. That's going to move pretty quickly out of the area by about nine o'clock. We should be drying out. However, there's another system moving into the mountains again where we're going to see some light snow. So think about the freezing rain or the slick roads out there. You want to drive very safely, reduce your speed, avoid driving if at all possible during these kind of conditions, avoid those sudden stops. If you slide, this is important, turn wheels in the same direction as the slide, avoid hills or steep inclines. So just drive safe out there. Temperatures are staying just around the average in the Columbia Basin Tri-Cities. Look at we right aren't really moving the needle a whole lot all week. We'll see a little bit of a cool down as we get to the last part of the weekend. Uh, we're staying above the average in Yakima all through the week, just slightly above a few degrees, and then we'll start to slide down again. That cooling trend coming later in the week. Let's check out those temperatures outside tonight. We're going to be in the 20s and 30s through the area, just below that freezing level on Clee Ellum and Ellensburg and slightly above freezing for Yakima, Sunnyside and Toppenish. In the Columbia Basin, most of us staying above the freezing level tonight, 34, 35 degrees, except for Connell slipping in there at 32. Much cooler along the foothills of the Blues tonight. Again, that dense fog is in place and freezing fog possible with those temperatures below the freezing mark. So drive safely out there. Look for the morning fog and stray showers through the region tomorrow. Temperatures in the 30s and 40s. Planning your day out the door fog is going to be a little more dense uh, sticking around the Walla Walla area. Look for mixed precip in the afternoon in the Yakima area. Here's that seven day planning forecast with your wintry mix there. Slight chance of rain, maybe a little bit of sunshine here, and then we see unsettled weather heading into the weekend into the tri cities. We're looking at fog, slight chance of rain could see the sunshine, hopefully on Thursday, and then we get wet with even a chance of wintry mix on Monday. Taking a look at Walla Walla, look for that fog in play most of the day tomorrow. The advisory will end at noon. Showers possible Wednesday. We could dry out on Thursday and then check it out. We get unsettled with that wintry mix coming Sunday, Monday into the Walla Walla area. So our, your takeaway tonight is again, be aware of fog in the area, slick roads possible with patches of black ice where that fog settles on the roadways. Dry safe out there. Jill. He embarked on a flight alone and was supposed to fly to Cleveland, but the problem is where he ended up. That's next on Apple Valley News Now at 6. Let's go! Put your hands together for the world famous Harlem Globetrotters. This isn't just basketball, people. This is where what just happened happens all the time. 
Don't miss the Harlem Globetrotters 2024 World Tour playing Toyota Center January 21st and Yakima Valley Sundome January 22nd. Go to harlemglobetrotters.com slash WA for tickets. In the heart of Tri-Cities wine country, you'll find the Goose Ridge Richland Tasting Room. Located in the center of our vineyards is an opportunity to enjoy life through wines, hard ciders, Monson Ranch spirits, light bites, and live music at Goose Ridge. More than you'd expect, more than just a winery. This may look like a holiday shopping showdown, but it's a Nissan sales event to add. Good thing my Rogue has intelligent all-wheel drive. So does my Altima. Now get 1.9% APR financing for 60 months or save up to $2,500 on Rogue. Better hurry, these offers won't be back in stock. Not being able to see up close can be frustrating. Introducing Eye Candy, the sweet new way to see everything bigger, brighter, and better than ever before. This lightweight, easy-to-hold magnifier utilizes an optical-grade lens that enlarges print by 300%. Yes, 300%. Embedded in Eye Candy's frame are 12 anti-glare LED lights that dramatically help increase clarity. It's a flashlight and magnifier in one. Lightweight and portable, Eye Candy is ideal for dimly lit restaurants. Read recipes, prescription bottles, or nutritional information. Order now to get your eye candy for only $19.99. But wait, there's breaking news. Eye candy may be discontinued. Due to rising costs, eye candy is shutting down and stopping manufacturing effective immediately. There's a strict limit of three eye candies per order. Order now. Call 1-800-931-3546 or visit tryeyecandy.com. That's 1-800-931-3546. Order now. Oh my gosh. Wow. Who am I? Wow, is that really me? <laughs> Hi, I'm Jonathan Greenhut, the CEO of Plexiderm. All it takes is 10 minutes to reduce the appearance of under eye bags, wrinkles, and crow's feet. The instant results are from naturally based silicates found in shell clay. Once applied, your skin tightens and firms. Take action with our Plexiderm 10 minute challenge. Try it today for only $14.95, plus get free shipping. Visit plexidermtrial.com or call the number on your screen. If you need to do something to feel okay to drive, you're not okay to drive. Don't drive buzzed. A teenager traveling alone ended up flying to the wrong destination right before Christmas. The 16-year-old boy was traveling to Cleveland on December 22nd to visit his mother. According to Frontier Airlines, he ended up in Puerto Rico instead. Both flights were departing from the same gate in Tampa, and according to the teen, the gate worker checked his ticket but didn't scan it, and he was told he was boarding the right plane. The airline eventually got the boy to his intended destination. Frontier Airlines did not immediately comment on the claim that the ticket wasn't scanned. Self-driving, even changing colors. A peek at the future of driving new at 630. But first, Stacy Lee has your reason to smile. And your reason to smile, a nice picture of the Cable Bridge, also known as the Ed Handler Bridge. Thank you to our friend Lucy for grabbing that photo. More cloudy skies and fog in the forecast. Get outside, snap those weather photos, and send them to me, S. Lee, at applevalleynewsnow.com. Reason to Smile is brought to you by West Richland Family Dental and Prime Dental in Pasco. Smoke City for Less. We are open seven days a week with now five locations. The Celebrity Jeopardy semifinals are here. Like anything can happen. Yes! You Whoa. did good, but you failed me in the end. Celebrity Jeopardy returns Tuesday on ABC. From Apple Valley News Now, this is Apple Valley Eats. All right, so my job here is the food and beverage executive chef. I've been here 10 years. Started off here as an entry level cook. Um, I was given the opportunity to step into the executive chef role, which is the position that I'm in. I've been in that position for about six years now, almost. Um, what I do here, I handle not so much the day-to-day -day operations, but everything that goes into the menu planning, the SOPs for all of the cooks, um, recipes, ensuring all the recipes are all the same, the consistency, the vision of the food and beverage department as far as the aesthetics, what is it gonna look like? What does the food preparation look like? We have everything from catering, fast food, 
employee meals, which is a cafeteria style setting. And then uh, obviously our bread and butter, what we do a buffet here um, at Legends. What we like to do here is try to keep our team members happy, try to be versatile with them, uh, try to be flexible, whatever needs that they may have. Um, you know, we try to accommodate. We do have childcare here on property. So if somebody needs to drop their kids off at childcare, that, that option's always there. You could come into our department with no experience at all, but we're gonna show you how to hold a knife. We're gonna show you how to cut vegetables. We're gonna show you how to cut meat. We're gonna show you how to use all the equipment is the comfort of knowing that I'm gonna have my consistent 40 hours a week. And that goes from everywhere from a dishwasher all the way up to my position. It's another benefit of working here at Legends. I like to think of it more as a career rather than a job. We can't help what you do before you go to bed, but we can make sure the sleep is solid once you finally get there. And during the extended New Year's Super Sale at Denver Mattress, the more you buy, the more you save. Save a hundred bucks on every thousand you spend, or purchase a Tempur-Pedic and get a $300 gift. Check out the Summit for only $299.99, plus six years no interest financing and free shipping. Here's to 365 nights of better sleep. Happy New Year from Denver Mattress. From the first day I met Gary, I did say that this is a man I could marry. There's hope that I have someone that I could enjoy the rest of my life with. I took a chance with Gary. Now that I found him, I don't want to lose him. She is what I've been looking for. The Golden Wedding, live January 4th on ABC. Ring in the new year with style at More Furniture's New Year's Sale this Monday. We're celebrating all day long with incredible values on furniture and mattresses in time for the new year. Your home deserves a fresh start for 2024, and we've got everything you need during the new year sale at More Furniture. Visit your local showroom with special hours this Monday from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Why am I your favorite? Wow! The stars still in the E.T. in 2024. Tell me now. Good try, E.T. Next E.T. Tonight at 7 on Apple Valley News Now. Welcome back. Cadillac welcomed its first baby of the year early this morning. This is Lua Kim, born at 5.30 this morning, weighing 7 pounds. She's the first child to parents Minbum Kim and Hannah Mo of Richland. Lua came two weeks early to become Cadillac's first baby of 2024. A foreign exchange student found after a sudden disappearance. Law enforcement believes he was the focus of a strange and frightening crime trend. Also, a new year and new laws. One of them in Washington state impacts cannabis use. And the latest on a powerful earthquake that hammered Japan's west coast. The news at 6.30 starts right now. This is Apple Valley News Now at 6.30 on your side. We got a new minimum wage, new gun control restrictions, and new rules cracking down on illegal street racing events with the new year. And Alyssa, you're telling us one of the new laws that kicked in today is already facing a potential change. Yeah, so we were talking in the last half hour about this new law saying most employers in Washington can no longer require a pre-employment marijuana test before they make that hiring decision. But state lawmakers are, there are a few exemptions as we mentioned, including people looking for certain jobs that require federal background checks, people hoping to be first responders or law enforcement officers. Healthcare workers, though, are not on this list, and that's not a mistake. It is what state lawmakers are potentially looking to change. So Representative Tom Dent, whose district covers parts of Grant, Kittitas, and Lincoln counties, has co-sponsored a proposal that would expand the list of people that could be asked to go through a pre-hiring cannabis test. Those include people in applying for jobs as substance use disorder professionals or trainees, or in any job where they would be working directly with people who are being treated for substance use disorder. Now that bill has been pre-filed in the legislative session for this year. It starts a week from today, coming up on January 8th. All right, so that seems like a pretty simple change. What happens when the legislative session begins? 
So good, bad, or indifferent, this has to go through the same process as an entirely new law. So we'll expect to see committee hearings and votes as this proposal makes its way through the legislature. And when lawmakers have to go back and fine tune their previous work, we saw this happen last year with police reform laws. Sometimes it can be a very drawn out process as we're getting through the session. All right, we'll keep an eye on it. Thank you, Alyssa. Now to the weather and the first evening of the new year. Stacey Lee is tracking your first alert weather forecast. And thanks, Jill. Happy New Year, everyone. Hopefully you're having a great day. Got a lot of football in uh, today and over the weekend. We do have freezing fog and low visibility once again due to this dense fog advisory all along the foothills of the blues will expire tomorrow. We'll continue to see the foggy conditions through the morning hours into the Tri-Cities, and it should start to break apart a little bit later in the day, although it will still be cloudy with temperatures in the 30s and low 40s. We'll see the cloudy uh, skies and fog in the Yakima area, and then check it out. We'll to see some showers. We could even see a little rain mixed with snow uh, depending on the temperature when that begins uh, tomorrow. Let's plan your day tomorrow. Look for those foggy conditions through half the day for the Walla Walla area looking better and overcast with cloudy skies. Mixed precip due for the Yakima Valley. So look for that patchy fog and freezing fog tonight. There's little patches of black ice on the roadways. Be safe out there. Scattered showers tomorrow. Light mountain snow also tomorrow into Wednesday and we have more unsettled weather coming towards the week. Weekend. I'll get to all those details in your first alert full weather forecast. Jill. New information tonight regarding a Chinese surveillance balloon shot down by the U.S. government. U.S. intelligence agencies say the balloon used a U.S. Internet service provided to send short periodic transmissions of data to China. Intel agencies believe that data was related to navigation and location. A U.S. official says the network connection was not used to transmit intelligence to China. The balloon stored that information, including imagery and data, for later. In June, the Pentagon announced the U.S. government did not believe the balloon was used to collect intel while flying over the nation. China insists it was a civilian weather research balloon that accidentally got blown off course. It's been over a decade since the devastating earthquake and tsunami that triggered a nuclear meltdown at Fukushima in northeast Japan. Today, a major earthquake hit Japan's west coast, measuring in at magnitude 7.5. ABC's Rena Roy has a look at the aftermath. We're getting a closer look at the scary moments on the western coast of Japan. As a major 7.5 magnitude earthquake rattled the area. You can see the ceiling in this office violently shaking and a sign swaying overhead. Video of this neighborhood shows multiple homes collapsing, kicking up dust and debris. It was just a violent shaking, I mean violent shaking. The quake hitting as thousands were visiting this shrine to mark the new year. It just didn't feel normal. It didn't feel like the, the normal you got an earthquake for, uh, you know, tremors for a couple of minutes. This felt more significant than that. And it felt a lot more dangerous. People fleeing as the tremors continued. And ironically, you go there to pray for good luck. And everybody is traditional to do it uh, the day after New Year's. And that's why it was so crowded. Government officials now assessing the damage, searching for anyone trapped. Tens of thousands without electricity and hundreds sleeping outside in below freezing temperatures, with at least 19 aftershocks already reported. For much of today, tsunami warnings in place, not only in Japan, but also in North Korea and eastern Russia. Authorities urging residents in the area to remain on alert as more earthquakes are likely. Rena Roy, ABC News, New York. Harvard has received an extension to respond to a House committee regarding plagiarism allegations involving its president. Last week, Harvard announced Claudine Gay plans to submit corrections to her 1997 Ph.D. dissertation to correct instances of what she called inadequate citation. The corrections would be on top of ones she's issued earlier this month to a pair of articles she wrote in the 2000s. Harvard has described Gay's corrections as regrettable. University officials found the matter does not meet the threshold of research misconduct, which would be a punishable offense. The House Education and Workforce Committee had asked the university to provide wide-ranging documents linking, linked to the issue by December 29th. However, a committee spokesperson says Harvard has more time to respond due to the holidays and office closures. Growing concerns for a wider Middle East conflict after the U.S. says they killed several Iran-backed 
Houthi rebels who were attacking them in the Red Sea. The White House not backing down, vowing to continue acting in self-defense in the vital waterway. The uh, group responding, they will not hesitate to confront any aggression. ABC's M. Wynn is tracking the latest. The onset of the new year marking escalating tensions in the Middle East with growing concerns about the potential for a broader conflict. The U.S. appearing to get dragged in deeper as Iran-backed Houthi rebels from Yemen in the Red Sea launched more aggressive attacks against international vessels. The Houthis should stop these attacks. The U.S. saying Sunday Navy helicopters were under attack and forced to return fire in self-defense, sinking three Houthi boats for the first time killing the crew on board. The Houthis saying they lost 10 members. The Iran-aligned group blamed for almost two dozen attacks in the last six weeks, which they say are linked to the support of the Palestinians against Israel. We're going to put the kind of forces we need in the region to protect those interests. Today, the Iranian Foreign Ministry spokesperson Nasser Kanani accusing the U.S. of intensifying instability in the Red Sea region. Kanani also responding to Israel's strike last week that killed a senior Iranian officer in Syria, saying Iran retains the legal right to respond. This as fighting rages on in Gaza. The Israeli military saying they found numerous Hamas weapons, including explosives, in a Gaza kindergarten. Sunday, an Israeli strike killed at least 35 people in central Gaza, according to hospital officials. Hours later, on New Year's, Hamas militants fired a barrage of rockets into Israel, setting off sirens across the central and southern parts. No injuries reported. Israel's prime minister saying he believes the war will continue for many more months. Meanwhile, negotiators are seeking another exchange deal to help free dozens of the remaining hostages being held in Gaza. So far, Israel has resisted international calls for another ceasefire. The future holds the promise of impressive and amazing technology, and a lot of it will eventually transform your ride. A peek at the future of automotive technology coming up. We could see changing conditions around eastern Washington this week. Stacey Lee is tracking your first alert forecast. But first, a missing foreign exchange student has been found. Investigators suspect he fell victim to a new type of criminal behavior. That's next on Apple Valley News Now at 6.30. Operation Best Friend on Good Morning Northwest, sponsored by Wendemere Group One. If you need to do something to feel okay to drive, you're not okay to drive. Don't drive buzzed. What if you could whiten your teeth by simply brushing your teeth? Now you can with Smile Actives, the teeth whitening breakthrough that safely gets your teeth white and keeps them white every day just by brushing your teeth. I never thought that whitening my teeth could be so easy. I just put the gel on the brush, the toothpaste on it, brush, and I can see my white teeth. Simply add Smile Actives to any toothpaste and our patented PolyClean technology activates into a powerful microfoam that penetrates into the enamel surface to safely lift and remove stains. You need a simple way to whiten your teeth without strips, without trays, without going to the dentist. And it was about time that a product was developed that you would be able to do that with just brushing. And now Smile Actives is even better with new Pro Whitening Gel with 33% greater whitening power, clinically shown to whiten teeth faster, up to eight shades. 100% of users saw whiter teeth on food stains, coffee and wine stains, even on veneers, crowns, and dentures. I eat the blueberries, I drink the coffee, and I know that Smile Actives will keep my teeth white every day. If you could use something so easy like Smile Actives to take yellow teeth to white teeth, why wouldn't you? Why spend hundreds of dollars for whitening treatments at the dentist when now you can whiten your teeth with new Smile Actives Pro Whitening Gel every time you brush your teeth? Call or go to SmileActives.com and for a limited time, get new Pro Whitening Gel for just $24.95. Order in the next five minutes and buy one, get one absolutely free for just $24.95. That's two for one and save 58%. We'll even include free shipping. Get your teeth whiter guaranteed or return it within 60 days for your money back. I smile every day now. <laughs> The difference is literally night and day. So now I'm always smiling, always choosing, because now my teeth are much whiter. This offer is not available in stores, so call or click now before the special buy one, get one free offer goes away. 
You rip and tear your old statements and bills, but thieves use this information to steal your identity. Don't be a victim. Get the ID Police, the new ink roller that encrypts all your old documents. So before you throw it out, just roll it on and your information is gone, both on the front and through the back. Even if the paper is held up to the light, even your medical information is safe with the ID Police. So block it out before you throw it out. Order now and get your ID Police for as low as $9.99 and get free shipping too. This offer is not available on Amazon, so call or click now to get your ID police for as low as $9.99 with free shipping. Order now. Call 1-800-803-0512. That's 1-800-803-0512. Or visit getidpolice.com. So call 1-800-803-0512 now. A warning tonight from law enforcement after the cyber abduction of a Chinese foreign exchange student in Utah. Someone tricked the 17-year-old into leaving his home, making him believe his parents were being harmed. Meanwhile, his parents received a ransom note thinking their child was abducted. Zareen Shah has the story and how police rescued the boy. Tonight, police in Riverdale, Utah, say they found 17-year-old Kai Zhuang in a snowy camping area about an hour outside Salt Lake City, where temperatures dropped to freezing at night. Police say what happened to Zhuang is part of a disturbing criminal trend called cyber kidnapping, and that kidnappers threaten young foreign exchange students and their families, and they demand ransom. Victims are told to isolate themselves and then closely watch through FaceTime calls and or Skype. They're told to send photos of themselves to cyber kidnappers under duress, which are then sent to the parents, making it seem like they're held captive. The victims are told their families will be harmed if they don't comply. Police say Zhuang's parents in China alerted them that he had been kidnapped, leading police to discover that he had bought camping gear. They say after analyzing and assessing bank records, purchases over the last month, cell phone ping records, and the camping incident, they were able to pinpoint where he might have isolated himself. They found him in the Brigham City Canyon area with very little heat and food, but with several phones that were presumed to be used to carry out the cyber kidnapping, and that Zhuang only asked to speak with his family and a warm cheeseburger. As ABC's Zareen Shah reporting, police are warning families, especially foreign exchange students, that if you think you're a target of cyber abduction, call your local police department. Do not send money and stop talking to the people who are calling you. It's not too late to set some resolutions for the new year, but research shows many people have a hard time making them stick beyond a few weeks. Whether you want to eat better, exercise more, or break a bad habit, the first step to keeping your resolutions is to be specific about the goal. Clinical psychologist Susan Albers with the Cleveland Clinic says setting a clear path helps manage our expectations. Our brains love to know the direction that we are going. So instead of saying, I want to exercise more, make a specific goal, such as 20 minutes of walking a day. This is going to make you much more successful in completing this goal. It's also important to keep your goals realistic. Albert says it's more difficult to stop a behavior than start a new one. So try adding healthy habits to your routine instead of focusing on cutting out the bad ones. It can also help to set resolutions with others so they can keep you accountable. Now that we are officially into 2024, sorry, uh, the um, it is a uh, the Children's Reading Foundation of the Mid-Columbia is hoping families will help will add reading to their lists of resolutions. The foundation is challenging the community to read for 20 minutes with a child every day in 2024. In order to support the goal, the Children's Reading Foundation is donating 12 books to 600 local families. Registration for Resolution Read began on December 28th, and as of early this afternoon, 144 families have signed up. If the child has 12 books you know today and they own them and they're theirs and they take ownership and they don't have to give them back to the library they're not borrowed they're brand new books um the ownership that the child feels and the motivation um inspires them to want to read together this challenge has been growing over the past few years and 200 more books will be donated to families than last year 
Hanford Mission Integration Solutions is once again sponsoring the event and will be labeling and delivering 7,200 books throughout the month of January. You can register for the challenge at read20minutes.com. From Apple Valley News Now, First Alert Weather with Stacy Lee. All right, let's take a look on our New Year's Day Tower Cam, Legends Casino, Columbia Point in Richland. Now there is high, uh, low clouds and fog, not as thick this evening in the Columbia Basin, but we are seeing thick fog elsewhere around the area. 39 degrees, the winds are light at 7, our feels like temp is 34. Dense fog advisory, though, in play all along the foothills of the Blues and in northeastern Oregon, all the way down into the Dalles area. Hermiston just sitting outside of that advisory, but yes, foggy conditions with slick roads possible out there tonight with a little bit of black ice possible. Now this ridge of high pressure, that guy starts moving out of the area and in comes our next wave. Our next system will start moving across the Cascades. It's going to bring light snow to the mountains, some mixed precip possible on the east side. Think Yakima Ellensburg area, maybe even into Sunnyside. Let's time that system out. Here comes those cloudy skies tomorrow morning. Again, overcast Columbia Basin. Here comes the first band of showers and snow showers on the east slopes and across the Cascades. Now, here's what happens. We get close to Yakima and we start to see that snow right around the area. So we could see a wintry mix there tomorrow on and off throughout the day with those showers coming down the uh, lower valley of the Yakima area and into the Kittitas. Overnight, Tuesday into Wednesday morning, look for showers through the region. Again, more snow, could see a little mix precip. That's going to move pretty quickly out of the area by about 9 o'clock. We should be drying out. However, there's another system moving into the mountains again where we're going to see some light snow. So think about the freezing rain or the slick roads out there. You want to drive very safely, reduce your speed, avoid driving if at all possible during these kind of conditions, avoid those sudden stops. If you slide, this is important, turn wheels in the same direction as the slide, avoid hills or steep inclines, so just drive safe out there. Temperatures are staying just around the average in the Columbia Basin Tri-Cities. Look at we right aren't really moving the needle a whole lot all week. We'll see a little bit of a cool down as we get to the last part of the weekend. Uh, we're staying above Above the average in Yakima all through the week, just slightly above a few degrees, and then we'll start to slide down again. That cooling trend coming later in the week. Let's check out those temperatures outside tonight. We're going to be in the 20s and 30s through the area, just below that freezing level on Clee Elm and Ellensburg, and slightly above freezing for Yakima, Sunnyside, and Toppenish. In the Columbia Basin, most of us staying above the freezing level tonight, 34, 35 degrees, except for Connell slipping in there at 32. Much cooler along the foothills of the Blues tonight again. That dense fog is in place and freezing fog possible with those temperatures below the freezing mark. So drive safely out there. Look for the morning fog and stray showers through the region tomorrow. Temperatures in the 30s and 40s. Planning your day out the door fog is going to be a little more dense uh, sticking around the Walla Walla area. Look for mixed precip in the afternoon in the Yakima area. Here's that seven day planning forecast with your wintry mix there. Slight chance of rain, maybe a little bit of sunshine here. And then we see unsettled weather heading into the weekend. And into the Tri-Cities, we're looking at fog, slight chance of rain, could see the sunshine, hopefully on Thursday, and then we get wet with even a chance of wintry mix on Monday. Taking a look at Walla Walla, look for that fog in play most of the day tomorrow. The advisory will end at noon. Showers possible Wednesday. We could dry out on Thursday, and then check it out. We get unsettled with that wintry mix coming Sunday, Monday into the Walla Walla area. So our, your takeaway tonight is, again, be aware of fog in the area, slick roads possible with patches of black ice where that fog settles on the roadways. Dry safe out there. Jill? Up next, the new automotive options that could eventually be part of the driving experience. You're watching Apple Valley News Now. The Weichardt, a powerful resource for former Hanford and DUE employees. If you worked in the area and have come down with cancer, lung disease, Parkinson's, or renal failure, you may be eligible for financial compensation and health care services. A simple phone call can get the process started. Atomic Home Health. Don't wait. Call today. Magical moments. Snowy adventures. Warming up. Making memories. A winter wonderland. The perfect close by getaway this winter is Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. Find countless ways to play and plan your escape at cdawinter.com. 
George and Heidi use Verizon. Dan and Tina have Spectrum Mobile. With Verizon, George and Heidi pay way more for their two unlimited lines. With Spectrum, Dan and Tina get one unlimited mobile line for $29.99 and their second line free. And with Spectrum, there are no added taxes or hidden fees. Dan and Tina save big, over $1,500 in savings. So George and Heidi, what do you think? We're switching to Spectrum. <laughs> Get one unlimited line for $29.99 and get your next line free. Call, click, or visit a Spectrum store today. Have you heard? Tempur-Pedic sleep is better sleep. With innovative memory foam developed by NASA, Tempur-Pedic mattresses reduce motion transfer. Which means less tossing and turning so you can sleep undisturbed through the night. But which Tempur-Pedic is right for you? Come to Denver Mattress and test for yourself. Or get a $300 gift when you purchase any qualifying Tempur-Pedic. And rest easy knowing it's backed by our 365-night better sleep guarantee. Shop Denver Mattress today, your Tempur-Pedic elite retailer. At US Cellular, anyone can get any phone free. So give yourself a free phone from US Cellular. Then, give yourself the gift of not checking it. The gift of connection at U.S. Cellular. New and current customers get any phone free. Ring in the new year with style at More Furniture's New Year's Sale this Monday. We're celebrating all day long with incredible values on furniture and mattresses in time for the new year. Your home deserves a fresh start for 2024. And we've got everything you need during the New Year's sale at More Furniture. Visit your local showroom with special hours this Monday from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Come along as we travel to Priest Lake, Idaho and meet some folks having fun with sled dogs. Let's go, let's go. It's a one-of-a-kind Fly the Northwest adventure you'll never forget. We also do some racing. Fly the Northwest, Apple Valley News Now at 6, Tuesday. Wishing you a happy new year in 2024. Now that 2023 is in the rear view mirror, what can we expect ahead around the bend for new cars in the new year? How about cars that can buy your food for you? That's just one of many things we can expect in the future, both good and bad. ABC's Danny New has more. Where we're going, we don't need roads. It's a new year, which means new car tech. And in 2024, where we're going, we don't need uh, credit cards. You just simply drive through, you're paid up. Ed Kim here is the president of Auto Pacific, an automotive market research and consulting firm. 55 burgers, 55 fries, 55 tacos. He says this year, car companies could start putting technology similar to Apple Pay into their cars. So at the drive through you can buy your food almost automatically. You don't even have to pull out your phone or, you know, your watch. Ed also says automakers are going to start exploring subscription services more. You may remember this got BMW a lot of blowback about a year ago when they started charging certain customers overseas $18 a month to use their own heated seats. It met with tremendous uh, consumer backlash, um, but they doubled down. They're like, no, this is, this is the way of the future. This sounds like car companies are getting ideas from the airlines that make my life the most annoying. <laughs> In the future, BMW customers may change the color of their car. About a year ago, BMW also teased the model for a car that can apparently change colors on command. But Ed says there's still a lot of work to be done as far as making it, uh, you know, getting the cost down, making it affordable and making sure that it's durable enough to um, survive in the real world. I'm in the driver's seat of this 2024 electric Mercedes, but I'm not driving. However, one way the future is arriving this year is with the launch of Mercedes' new self-driving car program. We've seen variations of this with other automakers, but this one will be the first that actually allows you to take your eyes off the road. You could read a book, you could play on your phone, uh, you don't have to be looking forward for the car to drive itself autonomously. In New York for ABC News, I'm Danny New. We'll have a final look at your weather when we come back. Behold my jackraps. 100% all white meat grilled or crispy chicken with lettuce, cheese and sauces and a warm tortilla for just three bucks. And they're under 400 calories. So if your goal this year was to save money and eat healthy-ish, we got you. With friends, there are no secrets. You kissed a guy! You kissed 
kissed my mom. Your little name is Muriel. It is a family name. <laughs> the best way to end your day. Friends, tonight at 11.05 on Apple Valley News Now. A successful real estate transaction requires a team of professionals. At Windermere, our team consists of experienced realtors to guide you through the process. With Windermere on your side and, and confidence in your real estate journey. Collective Soul, the 30th anniversary celebration, live in concert. January 18th, Legends Casino Hotel, Toppenish. An evening with Collective Soul. Buy tickets now at Ticketmaster and the Legends Casino Gift Shop. Come celebrate 30 years with Collective Soul. January 18th at Legends Casino Hotel, Toppenish. You need a fan, but they're bulky, awkward, and never put the breeze exactly where you want it. Introducing my fold-away fan from Bell & Howell, the compact cordless fan that unfolds into your own personal wind machine and extends to nearly four feet high. Its lightweight, portable design makes it easier than ever to have a targeted breeze anywhere. Plus, this whisper-quiet fan has three separate speeds, making personalizing your comfort a breeze. My Fold-Away Fan's rechargeable lithium battery lasts up to 10 hours, and it has enough power to blast a breeze to the other side of this room. Its unique telescoping stand allows you to place it on the floor, so the breeze will reach anywhere with ease. Then the whole thing folds away for easy storage. Get my fold-away fan from Bell & Howell for just two payments of $19.99. It comes with the USB cable to make charging fast and easy. My fold-away fan. Call or click now. Call 1-800-349-4196. That's 1-800-349-4196 or go to myfoldawayfan.com. Do you want Apple Valley News Now anywhere, anytime? Then you need Apple Valley News Now Plus for your phone, tablet, and streaming box. It's local news and first alert weather on your schedule from people you trust. Get Apple Valley News Now Plus for your phone, tablet, or streaming box today. Next extra, new year, new diet secrets. Oprah only seven pounds away from her goal, and Kelly Clarkson down 60. All the stars are dropping weight like crazy. Next extra. Tonight at 7.30 on Apple Valley News Now. My Double Bonus Jack combo gives you double the seasoned beef, double the cheese for $5.99. Let's see that again. Double beef, double cheese for, yeah, $5.99. Huh, good deal. Operation Best Friend on Good Morning Northwest, sponsored by Wendemere Group One. Welcome back. Let's take a final look at the weather. And one final look at our weather. Let's plan things out for the next seven days. Walla Walla looking for that fog as well as Hermiston. Here comes those showers. 30 to 40% chance on Wednesday. We get a little bit of a break on Thursday and this is where it gets unsettled moving into the weekend. We're going to see um, some mountain showers and snow showers over the weekend and a little bit cool off as well as you get into Saturday, Sunday. We'll see those temperatures start to drop with those overnight lows down below the freezing level once again. So here's Tri-Cities and Yak Look for that rain mix with snow possible tomorrow evening in the Yakima area. Tri Cities fog, slight chance of a stray shower here. We still have a chance of showers on Wednesday, overcast, cloudy skies. We could finally see a few sun breaks on Thursday, but then we start to see those showers come back into the area as we get into the weekend. So the takeaway tonight is that dense fog, freezing fog, and possible black ice on the roadways. Take it easy, be safe out there. Jill. Thank you so much for watching. You can always find the latest on our website, applevalleynewsnow.com. We are back tonight at 11. Happy New Year.